Ah, wonderful. Hello, Mustafa. Hello, teacher. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How, how, how about you? I'm good. Great. Thanks for asking. Um, welcome to class. Thank you. And Alejandro, hello. Hello. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm fine. Great. Great. Wonderful. Uh, Rohan, hello. Hello. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Great, great. Um, have you been in my class before? Uh, no, this is the first time. Okay, I thought so. Um, yeah. so where are you from? I'm from the Netherlands. From the Netherlands, yeah. wonderful, cool. Um, great, well, welcome to class. Yeah, it's nice to you. meet you. Yeah, glad to be here. Great. Um, great. All right. Well, we should have a few more people joining us. Um, we'll start in just a moment. Um, <clears throat> this class is Everyday Dialogues, um, and it's mostly a pronunciation lesson um, where we will be, we have two dialogues. Um, and we'll take turns reading it, um, practicing for intonation um, and uh, fluency. So we'll, we'll especially be talking about intonation and stress, um, possibly connected speech, um, and of course answer any questions that you have um, regarding pronunciation, vocabulary, um, or anything else. So that is the class. Um, let's see, Matthias, welcome. Thank you. Hello. How how are you today? I'm very well. Great. How are you? I'm good. Thanks. Thanks for asking. Um, all right. So that is what we will do today. We have two dialogues. Um, before we go to the dialogues, I will review some. Uh, important things about intonation and stress in English sentences. So we're going to look at this website. Um, I'm posting it in the chats right now. Um, and we're just going to talk for a minute about content words and function words and how that relates to stress and intonation. Um, you can follow along on my screen or look at the website yourself if you'd like. Um, but one important thing we will practice today um, is stress uh, or emphasis. And we put stress on <coughs> content words. Okay, um, Content words are usually nouns, verbs, adjectives, and sometimes adverbs. 
Um, they are the words that help us form a picture in our head. Okay. They give us the contents of the story and tell our listener where to focus his or her attention. Um, okay, so we want our listener to be able to quickly grasp the main content of our story, so we make the content words easier to hear by bringing attention to them with added stress. Okay, um, so these are some examples of content words. Okay, um, proper nouns, verbs, all of that. Um, words that carry special meaning, so negatives are stressed usually. Um, and then we have function words, and these are kind of the little words, um, or the words we use to make our sentences grammatically correct. So pronouns, determiners, prepositions, and auxiliary verbs are all function words. Um, so these are words that maybe don't carry the meaning, but they carry grammar um, and relationships between content words. Um, so if our function words are missing or used incorrectly, you may be considered poor speakers of English, um, although your listener may get the idea. So we usually, since since function words don't give us the main information, we don't usually want or need to do anything to give them added attention. Um, and the words remain unstressed. Okay, so we do not stress function words. Um, and sometimes we deliberately push them into the background. Um, this is called reducing. Um, so sometimes we almost purposefully don't pronounce them. Um, examples of these kinds of words are like and, uh, um, any pronouns, they, I. Um, all these little connecting words are function words. Okay. Um, so the main idea here for you is that Content words are stressed. Function words are not stressed, for the most part. Um, and there are not all content words are stressed, and not all function words are reduced. But in general, that's the rule. Um, so that's our focus today when we do the dialogues. Okay, any questions on that? You'll see more as we go through the dialogues. You'll see examples of this. All right. So let's stop there and let's see. Uh, Santiago, hello. Hello, Stephanie. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Great. Welcome. Welcome to class. Thank you. Um, great. All right. So let's get to the dialogues. Um, I chose two dialogues. Um, they're basic, so there's vocabulary, but it, most of it won't be new. Some of it might be. Um, but both are about food. Uh, so the first one we'll do today is going to be ordering fast food. Um, and I'll get a link in the chat. Um, and I'll also share. Uh, oops, I like to do a theme, so I chose kind of both around food, ordering fast food and ordering pizza. Um, two experiences you will certainly have if you ever visit the United States. Um, so let's start with ordering fast food. Um, all right, here we go. So, um, we have the dialogue on the second page, but let's just quickly go over the vocabulary. Um, so, we'll take turns. When it's your turn, just read the word 
and then try to match it with a definition or a meaning from the right. Um, and let's just go to my left. So Santiago, will you go first? Okay. Uh, combo. Mm -hmm. mm, let me see. I think is could be a meal combination that usually includes a main food item as well as a side of the right. Perfect. Excellent. Exactly <laughs> right. Yep. Combo is short for combination. Um, okay. Excellent. So great. Thank you, Santiago. Thank you. Great. Uh, Rohan, number two. Um, a slide. Mm. Uh, e, an additional part of the meal, such as potatoes, soup, or salad. Great, yep, or french fries, or... Yeah. Um, yep, great, excellent. Thank you, Rohan. Mustafa, number three. Okay. House. Um, House. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is this, this is a weird, strange one. Yeah. Yeah, this is a very difficult one. I'm gonna give you an example of when this might be used. Um. Let's see. So, would you like the house salad or the Caesar salad? Um, would you like the house wine or the fancy expensive wine? Oh, so it would be basic or signature? Yes, exactly. Yep, yep. So in this case, house kind of means the restaurant. So the house wine would be the restaurant's basic or the restaurant's signature wine. Um, yeah. So oh, great, excellent. Thank you, Mustafa. Alejandro, number four. Okay, Caesar. Is the a G a type of salad with romanian lettuce, creamy dre dressing, crotons, and bacon bits? Excellent. Exactly right. Caesar, Caesar salad. Great. Uh, let's see. Ken, hello, welcome. Yes, hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you today? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Great, great, all right. Your turn, number five. Mm -hmm. Ranch. Uh, is it related to food? Yes, this is related mm -hmm. to food, so not, not a big... No. House with the uh, cattle. <laughs> okay. This would be like a ranch. Um. No, it's not this basic. Uh, C. Meal combination. Mm. No, nope, that was that was combo. Combo. Okay, right. This is kind of like a flavor of something. Flavor. Popular flavor here. Uh, a creamy garlic dressing with onion and herbs. Yes, exactly. Okay. Great. Right. I wonder if I draw lines that <laughs> that might not be helpful. Okay, but great work, Ken. Uh, I will just type the letter. Um, great, H. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, next one, uh, Santiago. Okay, uh, soft drink is carbonated beverage, also soda or pop. Great, excellent. Yep, and what number is that? Uh, uh, I. Uh, Yes, excellent. I great. All right. Thank you, Rohan. Next one. Uh, creamer. Um, 
a small container that contains one serving of cream. Great, yeah. Yep, and we can say a creamer. <laughs> yeah. Good. Great, thanks. Uh, Mustafa, next one. Take a beverage. A beverage, I think it's a drink, kind of a drink. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Where it is? We have like I mean, we have to choose to add more cream sugar, and we have a creamy dressing. So this is the only choices we have, teacher. Just yeah, two. yeah. Um, B, D, or F. B, B, a dessert dish. Oh, no, no, not a dessert. To choose to add milk, maybe. Yeah, it is. So this actually um, is kind of a confusing one. It is D, to choose to add milk, cream, or sugar. We usually use this with a coffee or tea. Um, someone might ask, how do you take your coffee? They say, I'll take it with two sugars. Or I'll take a coffee with cream. Um, okay. I'll take two creams, please. <laughs> so, good. Good one. Oops. Um, all right. Next up, Alejandro, Sunday. Okay, uh, Sunday. Uh, ice cream mixed with milk to create a drink. drink. Mm, good. These are these are both ice cream desserts. Both of these, a Sunday and a shake. But um, a shake is the one that you drink. So that's letter F. The ice cream mixed with milk to create a thick drink is a shake. Um, so a sundae is? A B. <laughs> yeah, yep. So a sundae is a B, a dessert dish of ice cream. Um, with fruit or other toppings. Very similar. All right, great work, everyone. Are there any questions on the vocabulary? Shake is the uh, same as milkshake? Um, slightly different. Um, mm -hmm. a, sh a shake has milk added, and it's usually blended in a blender. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a drink. So you'll eat it out of a cup, or you'll drink it rather, mm -hmm. uh, out of a cup, um, whereas a sundae is... I mean, uh, shake uh, is equal to milkshake. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's short okay, for milkshake. Yeah, okay, yeah, I didn't hear you right. <laughs> oh, great. All right, nice work, everyone. So let's get to it, the, what we're here for, the dialogues. Um, so we have this dialogue with two characters. Um, I am going to read it. Uh, when we read it, we're going to, as I said, focus on um, our intonation. Okay, so that's the area of pronunciation we're really working on. Um, so when we get to content words like combo, <laughs> fries, salad, you know, the nouns, verbs, those we're going to stress or pronounce very clearly. Hello. Um, and function words we will not stress or we will even reduce. So pronouns like you, articles like a uh, or the, um, prepositions, especially the preposition to, will only sound like a t sound. Um, so that's our area of practice. Um, so I'm going to start, I'll, I'll go first and I'll read it. I'm going to read both parts. I'll read it first slowly so you can hear the individual words. Then I'll read it at a natural speed um, and you'll hear how the stress is. So here we go. Cashier. So we have a cashier and a customer. So the person working and the person buying. Hello. Are you ready to order? Yes. I'll have a combo number one, please. Okay. 
Would you like fries, salad, or onion rings for a side? Salad, please. House salad or Caesar? House, please. What kind of dressing would you like? We have ranch, Italian, blue cheese, or house dressing. Ranch, please, on the side. Sure. What would you like to drink? May I have a coffee instead of a soft drink? Sure. How do you take your coffee? One creamer and two sugars, please. Okay. Is that everything? No. I also need three chocolate sundaes and a small strawberry shake. Okay. Your total comes to $21.45. So that is the dialogue. Um, any questions on anything in the dialogue? Okay, I'm going to read it one more time. Um, this time I'm going to go faster at a much more um, natural speed. Um, Notice, um, especially with words like would, what would you like to drink, this, this question. When I say it fast, it might sound like, what would you like to drink? Okay, so that's an example of reducing. Um, and you'll probably hear that elsewhere, too. So, so pay attention for that. Okay, one more time. Faster. Here we go. Hello. Are you ready to order? Yes. I'll have a combo number one, please. Okay. Would you like fries, salad, or onion rings for a side? Salad, please. House salad or Caesar? House, please. What kind of dressing would you like? We have ranch, Italian, blue cheese, or house dressing? Ranch, please, on the side. Sure. What would you like to drink? May I have a coffee instead of a soft drink? Sure. How do you take your coffee? One creamer and two sugars, please. Okay. Is that everything? No. I also need three chocolate sundaes and a small strawberry shake. Okay. Your total comes to $21.45. All right. So, um, should have sounded much faster that second time. <laughs> yes, so. teacher. So when you talk faster, like uh, you reduce, uh, you said just twenty-one. I think twenty-five. Mm -hmm. Okay, twenty-one uh, and forty-five cents. You said twenty-one, twenty-one, forty-five, right? Ah, uh -huh. yes. Yeah, I noticed that too. Um, yeah. So when I would try to do it more naturally, I did not say dollars or cents. I just said. Twenty-one forty-five, um, and that is natural. You'll you'll hear that all the time. In fact, that's more common than twenty-one dollars and forty-five cents. Uh, yeah. So when you practice it, probably say just say twenty-one forty-five, unless you want to practice the dollars and cents. <laughs> um, all right. Does anyone have any questions on any of the pronunciation? Was anything you'd like repeated? All right, so it's going to be your turn. Um, and we're going to go to my left. So Santiago and Rohan, you two are up first. Um, so Santiago, you'll be the cashier, and mm -hmm. Rohan, you'll be the customer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ready, set, yeah. <laughs> go. Okay. Hello, are you ready to order? Yes, I'll have a combo number one, please. Okay, would you like fries, salad, or onion rings for a side? Salad, please. House salad or pizza? House, please. What kind of dressing would you like? We have ranch, Italian, blue cheese, or house dressing? Ranch, please, on the side. Sure. What would you like to drink? 
May I have a coffee instead of a soft drink? Sure. How did you take your coffee? One creamer and two sugars, please. Okay. Is that everything? No. I also need three chocolate sundaes and a small strawberry shake. Okay. Your total comes to $21.45. Thank you. Good, good. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, nice. Thank you both. Um, nice work, both of you. So that was a really great speed on both parts. Um, definitely sounded very fluent. Um, nice, nice reductions, especially uh, Santiago on, where was it? Do you? Here. How do you take your coffee? That was a good reduction. This is, is an important induction, uh, reduction in English. Do you often sounds like do you. Um, yeah, so nice work with that. Um, and then one note we would, if, if you say dollars, then you must also say cents. Okay. Um, so, so, if so it's better to say just uh, 21, 21.45? Yep, yep. You can either say 21.45 or $21.45. 25 cents. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Thank you. Great. Uh, nice job, both of you. Sounded good. Um, all right. So, Mustafa and Alejandro, are you ready? Yes. All right. Mustafa, you're the cashier. Alejandro, the customer. Uh, and ready, set, go. Hello. Are you ready to order? Yes. I have a combo one, please. Okay. Would you like fries, salad, or onion rings for a side? Salad, please. House salad or Caesar? House, please. What kind of dressing would you like? We have ranch, Italian, blue cheese, or house dressing. Ranch, please, on the side. Sure. What, what would you like to drink? May I have coffee instead and of a soft drink? drink? Sure. How do you take your coffee? Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> One creamer and two sugar, please. Okay. Is that everything? No. I also need three chocolate sundaes and a small strawberry shake. Okay, your total comes to twenty-one forty-five. All right, great. Um, thank you both. Sounded nice. Again, it sounded very fluent. Um, not a lot of hesitation. Good pronunciation. Um, pretty good stress. Um, all right. So yeah, again, uh, I don't know. I don't have. I don't have any real notes for improvement there. It sounded good. Um, so let's continue. Um, so we do have an odd number. So Ken, um, Ken will be the cashier. And do I have a volunteer to read the customer part? Maybe someone who was not the customer before? <gasps> uh oh, wait, no, we, we have maybe someone joining us. Um, hello, Elian. Hello. Hi, how are you today? I'm fine, and you? I'm great, thanks. Oh, um, good. good. Where are you from? I'm from Nicaragua. Cool, cool. Welcome, great. And, and, and you? And you? Where are you from? Um, I'm from the United States. Oh, okay. Yeah, great. All okay. right. Well, welcome to class. Um, you're just in time. This is a dialogue class, um, and we are practicing this dialogue um, about ordering fast food. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so uh, AKA or Aka Ken here was going to read the cashier. Um, will you read the customer part? Okay. All right, so uh, both of you ready, set, go. Hello, are you ready to order? Yes, I have a combo number one, please. Okay, uh, would you like fries, salad, or onion rings for a side? Salad, please. 
have salad or Caesar? House, please. What kind of dressing would you like? Or oh, we have ranch, Italian, blue cheese, or house dressing? Ranch, please, on the side. Sure. What would you like to drink? Uh, sure. How do you take your coffee? Wait, did we have... Oh, sorry. May I, have, may, I, may I have a coffee instead of a soft drink? Sure. How do you take your coffee? One creamery and two sugars, please. Okay. Is that everything? No, I also need three chocolate sundaes and a small strawberry shake. Okay. Your total comes to $21.45. All right, um, twenty-one dollars and forty-five cents. <laughs> Twenty-five one dollars forty-five cents. Good, good. Or just twenty-one forty-five. It's not necessary to say point or dot, something like that. Um, not, not when you're giving an order, or when not when you're giving a total to a customer. Um, yeah, and with a customer, really, the only two ways you would say it would be. Twenty-one dollars forty-five cents, or twenty-one forty-five. Um, if you were reading numbers, you might say twenty-one point forty-five, but not in this situation. Okay. Good. Great question. Um, all right. So nice job, you two. Um, sounding good. Everyone seems to be pretty good with uh, stressing the correct words. I d I don't hear any really problems with stressing function words that shouldn't be stressed. So that's good. Um, so uh, sometimes with these dialogues I have everyone read both roles, but I think um, today I have a second dialogue I think that will do. Um, so we'll just kind of finish this one up. Let's just look at couple of notes. Um, this is something I get a lot of questions on countable and uncountable nouns. Um, so it's important to know that uncountable beverages and foods are often used as countable nouns in restaurants. So you can ask for a coffee, um, two sugars, um, one cream, one milk, uh, three beers and two milks. Uh, is, is this possible? In a restaurant situation, yeah, it is. You will hear this. Um, yeah, and you don't have to do this. You can be more proper. You can say, I need three bottles of beer and two bottles of milk, or I take two packets of sugar, <laughs> um, or one container of cream but in restaurants they've they've kind of made them countable just to be faster and easier to say okay yeah great question um, so that's important to know um, and I think that's about it for this um, dialogue All right. so let's go then this was ordering a uh, fast food um, we have one more food-themed um, dialogue we're going to do today, and that is ordering pizza. <laughs> so two food themes. Lots of food this week. I did a discussion class earlier in the week all about eating out, um, and now we've got this. So lots of food this week. Um, all right, so we're going to do this just like the last one. We'll start with a little bit of vocabulary. Um, I'll talk about some of the stress patterns, any interesting pronunciation or connected speech you need to know. I'll model it, and then you'll do it. Um, all right, so here we go. Ordering pizza. One of my favorite foods in the world is pizza. Um, all right, I, let's just 
So I'm not sure whose turn it was. So let's start with uh, Elian, since you joined us, just joined us. Will you take number one? Read the word and then try to tell us the meaning. Okay. Toppings. Let me see. Uh, letter letter H letter H a sales arrangement in which yeah. there something no this one is um, let's see uh, before I guess I should mention this is all pizza vocabulary so related to pizza um, so toppings are some... Oh, A, 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 A. Great, there you go. A, yeah. 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 Items that you place on top of something, such as a pizza or a sandwich. So, yeah. pepperoni, yeah. onions. Um, great, thank you, Elian. Uh, moving left, Alejandro, your turn. Pick up. Uh, I think it's, it's I, a takeout service where the operator brings the food to a residence. Ah, uh, close. This is the opposite of pickup. A uh, delivery. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Oh, okay. Uh, the H. Yeah. Yep. H. Exactly. Yep. Where the customer orders something and then goes to the establishment or the place to get it. Very good. Um, great. Thank you. All right. Uh, Ken, how about number three? Yeah, delivery. Uh, I take out service where the operator brings the food to our residence. Excellent. Great. Oops. I don't like that one like that. Great. Excellent. All right. Number four, Santiago. Okay. Um, Basel Co. I think is uh, uh, a number that the visitor uses used to gain access to an apartment building or elevator containing, no, yeah, or elevator. Exactly. <laughs> Great. Yep. So you have to give your buzzer codes if you live in an apartment building or in a flat. Mm. Great. Thank you. Rohan, mm -hmm. number five. Townhouse. Mm. Uh, B, a type of residence where a group of houses are attached. Exactly right. Great. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, Mustafa, next one. Vegetarian. Vegetarian, what is it? The result of protein food and what that may cause digestive problems. Yep, yep. This the what I read. This, uh, what I just read, teacher. You think it's letter D? I think virtually without me. So that's about oh, me. Oh, okay. Oh, at, so letter F. Oh, oh, containing no meat. Oh, we have a choice. Okay, containing no meat. Yeah, yeah containing no meat. Very good. Vegetarian. Um. Vegetarian can describe a person, so someone who eats no meat, or a food, which means it contains no meat. Um, great. Elian, back to you, number seven. Cross. Mm. Uh, um, with a protein found in wheat that may cause digestive problems. No, not that one. 
Um, I'll give oh, you. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The cuckoo dove on the bottom of a pizza. Yeah, great, excellent. Letter G. G, right. G. Good, good. And just for everyone, um, in this when we talk about pizza, oops, dough. Uh, the G H are silent, so just dough, 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 dough. Great, thank you. Alejandro, next one. Wings. Okay, short of chicken wings. Yeah, short for chicken wings. Yep. Um, so delicious food item. You can call them wings. Let's order some wings. Um, great. Ken, next one. Soda. Uh, J, a carbonated beverage, also called soft drink, soda pop, or pop. Great, yep, and that can change depending on your region, um, what it's called. Great, so that was J, and our last one, number 10, uh, Santiago. Okay, gluten-free, letter D, without the protein found in wheat that may cause Digestive problems. Great, great. And this is coming up all the time. More and more frequently we see foods that are gluten free and we hear about gluten in diet. Uh, oh, wow. I don't know why that star is there. Uh, good work. <laughs> that star is there because you all did good work. So we'll put that right by the top. <laughs> all right. Great job, everyone. <laughs> um, so let's continue. Let's get to the dialogue. Um, this one is a phone dialogue. I guess that not that that matters, but uh, often you order pizza on the phone. Actually, online nowadays. Um, but anyhow, we're on the phone for this dialogue. Again, we're going to clearly pronounce the content words like um, uh, like proper nouns, like regular nouns, um, verbs, things like that, or adjectives, important words, and we will not stress those function words. Um, looks like that's it that I'm seeing right now, so I'm going to read it again. I'll read it twice, the first time slowly so you can hear individual words, and then I'll read it at a natural speed. Um, all right, so uh, we have a CSR. I'm not sure what that means. Okay, it means the customer service representative, the CSR and the customer. So Pablo's two-for-one toppings. How can I help you? Hello. I'd like to order a few pizzas, please. Sure. Is this for pickup or delivery? Delivery, please. It's free delivery on Mondays, right? That's right. May I have your address? Yep. It's 803 Lancaster Road, number 25. Is there a buzzer code? No, it's a townhouse. Okay. What can I get for you? I need one large vegetarian pizza and two medium pepperoni pizzas, please. Okay. Our vegetarian comes with green peppers, tomatoes, and onions. Is that okay? Hmm. Is it possible to get hot peppers instead of green peppers? No problem. Would you like regular crust or thin crust? Let's go with thin crust for the vegetarian and regular for the pepperonis. Sure. Can I interest you in any wings, garlic bread, or soda today? No, I think that will be everything. All right, your total comes to forty-three twenty-five. Our driver should have that to you in about 45 minutes. Great, thank you. Um, all right, so that was the dialogue. Uh, first time, kind of a slowed down rate, not too slow. Um, uh, any questions or any 
thing that you noticed about the pronunciation? Instead, right. yes, instead. Um, instead, instead. Instead. Okay. Yep. instead. Yep, good. Yep, so stress falls on the second syllable. Uh, where is that? Um, that's when he asked for hot peppers. Yeah, here. Instead. So you'll stress this instead. part. Instead. Yep, yep. Good, instead. Uh, Great. All right. So I'm going to read it one more time at a natural speed. Um, so listen one more time. And then again, if you have questions afterwards, let me know before you, your turn to read. Um, all right. So Pablo's two for one toppings. How can I help you? Hello. I'd like to order a few pizzas, please. Sure. Is this for pickup or delivery? Delivery, please. It's free delivery on Mondays, right? That's right. May I have your address? Yep. It's 803 Lancaster Road, number 25. Is there a buzzer code? No, it's a townhouse. OK. What can I get for you? I need one large vegetarian pizza and two medium pepperoni pizzas, please. OK. Our vegetarian comes with green peppers, tomatoes, and onions. Is that OK? Hmm. Is it possible to get hot peppers instead of green peppers? No problem. Would you like regular crust or thin crust? Let's go with thin crust for the vegetarian and regular for the pepperonis. Sure. Can I interest you in any wings, garlic bread, or soda today? No, I think that'll be everything. All right. Your total comes to 43.25. Our driver should have that to you in about 45 minutes. Great. Thank you. All right. Any questions on pronunciation? Should have sounded a little faster. A few more reductions. It's not about pronunciation, but uh, one for two means half price topping. Um. Yeah. Basically. Two yep. for one. Yeah. Two for one. That means you get you get two and you pay for one. Two mm -hmm. for one or two for the price of one. Good. Okay. Good question. Um, Great. All right. So again, your turn to read it. Um, you'll have you'll hear a lot of reductions, especially whenever the with the for and you for you. It sounds kind of strange, like one word for you. Um, and again, would you like is kind of reduced. Would you like? Would you like? Um, Guess those would be two important ones to practice. Oh, and then question intonation. Um, all of these questions have an upward intonation at the end, except questions with two choices. Um, so in this question, it will actually have a downward intonation. Is this for pickup or delivery? Also down here. Would you like regular crust or thin crust? Okay. Um, so otherwise, upward intonation on the questions. Um, all right. So let's go again. Santiago and Rohan. Uh, Santiago, will you be the customer service representative and um, Rohan the customer? Okay. All right. Go ahead. Pablo's two for one toppings. How can I help you? Hello. I'd like to order a few pizzas, please. Sure. Is it for pickup or delivery? Delivery, please. It's free delivery on Mondays, right? That's right. May I have your address? Yep. It's 803 Lancaster Road, number 25. Is there a buzzer code? No, it's a townhouse. Okay. What can I get for you? I need one large veg vegetarian pizza and two medium pepperoni pizzas, please. 
Okay, our vegetarian comes with green peppers, tomatoes, and onions. Is that okay? Mm. Is it possible to get hot peppers instead of green peppers? No problem. Would you like regular crust or thin crust? Let's go with thin crust for the vegetarian and regular for the pepperonis. Sure. Can I interest you in any wings, garlic bread or soda today? Uh, no, I think that will be everything. All right. Your total comes to 43.25. Our driver should have that you should have that you uh, in about 45 minutes. Great. Thank you. All right. Excellent. Great. Thank you both. Um, sounded nice. Again, a good speed. I'm definitely hearing content words are stressed more than the function words, so nice work with that. Um, all right, great. I, I really didn't hear any errors there. Um, so good. Thanks for going first. Um, let's hear from Mustafa and Elian. Um, yeah. Mustafa, you'll be the customer service representative. And then Elian, the customer. Okay. All right, go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Pablo's 241 topping. How can I help you? Hello. I'd like to order a few pieces, please. Sure. Is this, is this for picking or delivery? Delivery, please. It's free delivery on Mondays, right? That's right. May I have your address? Yep, it's A O three Lancaster Road, number twenty-five. Is there a bazaar code? No, it's townhouse. Okay, what can I get for you? I need one large vegetarian pizza and two medium pepperoni pizzas, please. Okay, our vegetarians come with the green peppers, tomatoes, and onion. Is that okay? Mm, is it possible to get hot pepper in, instead of green peppers? No problem. Would you like regular crust or thin crust? Let's go with thin crust for the vegetarian and regular for the pepperonis. Sure. Can I interest you in any way, garlic bread or soda today? No, I think that will be everything. All right, your total comes to 43.25. Our driver should have to should have that to you in about 45 minutes. Great, thank you. Nice, nice, nice. All right, um, it sounded good. Good intonation. Um, the questions could be even a little more higher intonation. Most of them. Um, uh, so, but good, uh, good upward intonation, and um, especially good downward intonation on the statements, um, Elian. So Sorry, sound, repeat. Uh, good downward intonation on the statements, um, especially at the end there. Great, thank you. <laughs> sounded nice. Gr great, thank you. So, yeah, it sounded really natural. Um, so good work, you two. Sounded um, good. Certainly wouldn't have any problems ordering pizza on the phone. Um, so last but not least, Alejandro and Ken. Alejandro, you'll be the customer service representative, and Ken, you'll be the customer. Uh, I am the CSR. Yes, Alejandro, you are the CSR. Okay. All right, so go ahead. Okay. Pablo, two for one topping. How can I help you? Hello, I'd like to order a few pizzas, please. Sure. It is for pickup or delivery. Delivery, please. It's free de delivery on Mondays, right? That's right. May I have your address? Yep. Address. It's uh, A03 uh, Ranchester Road, uh, number 25. Is there a bus code? No, it's a townhouse. 
Okay. What can I get for you? I need one large vegetarian pizza and two medium pepperoni pizzas, please. Okay. Our vegetarian comes with green peppers, tomatoes, and onions. Onions? Is that okay? Hmm. Is it possible to get hot peppers instead of green peppers? No problem. Would you like regular crust or thin crust? Let's go with thin crust for the vegetarian and regular for the pepperonis. Sure. Can I stay interested you in any wings, garlic bread, or soda today? No, I think that will be everything. All right. Your total comes to 43. Uh, 25 where the lead, where driver should have to that uh, have to that to you about uh, 40 minutes 40 minutes yes. great thank you all right great thank you both nice work um, good the overall pattern sentence pattern intonation sounds good so good downward intonation on sentences and upward intonation on questions. That sounded good especially. Um, this part was a little tricky at the end there. Bit of a tongue yeah. twister. Um, yeah, there's a lot of little function words there. So um, so it is hard. We don't pronounce that clearly. So kind of a tough area. Um, but sounded good. Again, uh, all of you are very, uh, very good in this field. You can easily um, order a pizza on the telephone if you need to. So, um, with that, we're gonna we're gonna stop there. Unless, well, are there any questions on this dialogue before we stop? Y yes. Uh, what is buzzer code? Um, buzzer code is like um, for a code. If there's some. Um, like if you live in an apartment building and there's mm -hmm. a lock to keep people out and it might mm -hmm. have a code, mm -hmm. that would be like the buzzer code. Oh, or it, or if there's a code to enter to get through the door. Yeah. I see. Right. Okay, thank you. Okay, great. Um, all right, so with that, I guess we are done for now. Um, so good work, everyone, and uh, I hope to see you in a future session of everyday dialogues. Thank you, teacher. Thank All you, right. everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.